Okay, good day. This is MC Squared Coaching Center. And isa naman pong panibagong uh, lecture natin dito po sa civil service exam. Okay, na review. And ang focus lang po ng channel natin is mathematics review for civil service exam. Okay, so ano yung mga problems nandito? Ano yung mga questions nandito? Yun po yung frequently asked questions po. And this is part 14 na po. And magandang araw. Ako po si Engineer Melvin John Habla Bansuelo, CIS. Okay, so simula na po tayo. Now, ito po yung problem number one natin. Kung napansin natin, yung problem number one po natin is nasa problem, uh, nasa uh, problem number three sa part 13 ng ating lecture, ng ating video. So kung Gusto nyong tignan, nandun po siya sa previous ko na lecture na video na Frequently Asked Question Part 13. And ngayon, bakit ko po siya binalik? Hindi po to by accident kasi may nag-request. Okay? So, kasi po, yung pag-solve ko uh, sa previous video ko po, ang pag-solve ko po doon is reverse method galing sa choices papunta sa problem. Eh, may nag-message po sa akin sa messenger, medyo hindi po daw magets Siguro may medyo naguguluhan lang so nag-request ng new solution. So pinagbigyan ko naman po kaya sabi ko po doon sa message niya sa akin sa Messenger na ilalagay ko po siya sa next video ko. And ito na po 'yon. Ito na po yung uh, request niya and iba po yung pagka ko dito and ang pagka ko po dito is using equation. Okay? So Basahin ko po yung problem. The average age of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud 3 years ago was 27 years. And that of Chicks and Cloud 5 years ago was 20 years. The present age of Melvin is A. 35 years B. 40 years C. 50 years D. None of these. Again, ulitin ko. The average age of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud 3 years ago was 27 years, and that of Chicks and Cloud 5 years ago was 20 years. The present age of Melvin is, is it letter A, 35 years, letter B, 40 years, letter C, 50 years, letter D, none of this. So, ito po siya. It's to solve po natin. Now, paano ko po ba siya ginawa dito compared sa... Uh, previous lecture ko. Sa previous lecture ko po kasi, reverse method yung ginamit ko. So, sa mga hindi po nakapanood, pwede nyo pong tignan sa Frequently Asked Questions Part 13 ko po na video. Dito naman po is pag-solve ko po, gagamit po ako first ng table. Meron po tayong tatlong taong involved sa problem na to si Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud. Okay? So, sa, sabi dito, the average age of Melvin, Chicks, Cloud, 3 years ago was 27 years. And that of Chicks and Cloud, 5 years ago was 20 years. The present age of Melvin is... So, gawa tayo ng table. Now, sa table natin, class, ito yung present. Yung present, yung X is the age of Melvin. Yung Y naman is the age of Chicks. Yung Z naman is the age of cloud. Ito yung present ages nila. X, the present age of Melvin. Y, present age of chicks. Z, present age of cloud. E ang sabi sa problem, 3 years ago. Pag sinabing 3 years ago, magsasubtract tayo ng 3 sa present age ni Melvin. Sa, magsasubtract din naman tayo ng 3 sa present age ni chicks. And magsasubtract naman tayo ng 3 sa present age ni Cloud. Kaya, sa isang column natin dito, past 3 years ago, ito po yung age ni Melvin. X minus 3, the age of Melvin 3 years ago. Y minus 3, the age of chicks 3 years ago. Z minus 3, the age of cloud 3 years ago. Ganun naman din dito sa next statement. Kasi sabi niya, 5 years ago. So, kung 5 years ago, sa subtract ka ng 5 sa present age ni Melvin, kaya maging X minus 5. 5 years ago, sa subtract ka naman ng 5 sa age ni chicks, kaya naging 1 minus 5. 5 years ago, sa subtract ka ng 5 sa age ni cloud, kaya yung age niya 5 years ago, past 5 years ago, is Z minus 5. Okay. So, I hope klaro na po yung pagkakagawa po ng table. And then, balik na po tayo sa, sa, sa problem. Now, ang sabi sa problem, ano yung sabi sa problem? 
the average, okay, the average, and po yung sabi sa problem, the average age of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud. Pag sinabi kasi natin average class, i-add natin yung age ni Melvin, ni age, age ni Chicks, and age ni Cloud, and then divided by 3. Bakit divided by 3? Kasi tatlo sila. 1, 2, 3. So therefore, 3 years ago yung reference natin, i-add natin ito. Yung age ni Melvin 3 years ago, plus 3 age ni Chicks 3 years ago, plus age ni Cloud 3 years ago, divided by 3 equals 27. So, by equation, ayan po siya. Okay? So, itong X minus 3, age po yan ni Melvin. Y minus 3, age po yan ni Chicks 3 years ago. Z minus 3, age po yan ni Cloud 3 years ago. So, lahat ito sila is age ni Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud 3 years ago. Divided by 3 kasi tatlo silang, tatlong tao ang involved sa problem. So, divided by 3, the average of the age ni Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud 3 years ago is 27. Okay. So, multiply both sides of our equation by 3. So, ang mangyari, ganito na lang siya. Okay. So, kaya ito yung x minus 3 plus y minus 3 plus z minus 3 equals to 3 times 27. And then we know that 3 times 27 equals to what? Equals to 81. So, kaya i-add din natin to Negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. So, negative 3 plus negative 3 that is negative 6 plus negative 3 that is negative 9. Kaya we have here x plus y plus z. Ayan po siya. x plus y plus z. And then negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 that is negative 9. So we have the equation x plus y plus z minus 9 equals to 81. And itong minus 9 na to, transpose natin to the right side. So ang maiwan, kaya na lang. X plus, x plus y plus z equals to 81 plus 9. And 81 plus 9 equals to 90. Kaya our equation 1 x plus y plus z equals to 90. So, ilet natin ito siya class as our equation 1. Okay? Equation 1 po yan siya. So, kaya nilagyan ko ng 1. Okay? Next, okay na po tayo sa equation number 1. Let's try to make the second equation. Yung second equation, pagbabasya natin sa statement na na average age din ni Chicks, Melvin and Cloud 5 years, uh, no, Chicks and Cloud 5 years ago was 20 years. Yan po yung sa second. So, ang i-add lang natin class is the age of chicks and cloud. So, therefore, hindi po siya divided by 3 but divided by 2 kasi dalawa lang yung reference natin. So, kaya we have, this is the age of what? Age of age of chicks plus age of cloud divided by 2 equals to 20. Ito po yan siya. The average of the age of chicks and cloud 5 years ago. So, ito yung ginamit natin kasi sabi sa problem 5 years ago. So, y plus y minus 5 plus z minus 5 h ni chicks and cloud divided by 2 that is equal to 20 times 2 both sides of our equation kaya magiging y minus 5 plus z minus 5 equals to 2 times 20 and we know that 2 times 20 is 40 and ito siya naman y plus z Ayan po siya, y plus z, then negative 5 plus negative 5, that is negative 10. Ito, transpose to the right side, kaya 40 plus 10, so we have y plus z equals to 40 plus 10, so therefore y plus z equals to 50. So ito po yung second equation natin. So yan po yung second equation. Okay, so we have now two equations. So meron na tayong two equations. Then, let's try to compare the first equation and the second equation. Kung kumpansin din natin, yung sa first equation, tingnan natin itong y plus z. Ayan. Ala, ayan asan yung y plus z na yan? So, ayan. Tingnan natin yung binax ko. Okay? Yung y plus z. So, yung y plus z, anong value ng y plus z class? Ayan. Ayan po siya, yung y plus z sa second equation. So, therefore, pwede tayo mag-substitute ng 50 dito. Okay? So, by that, we know that x plus y, x plus 50, saan galing 50, and po siya, na y plus equals to 50, second equation. Then, therefore, 
if 50 transpose to the right side, that is 90 minus 50 or x equals to 40. Ano nga yung x? x is the present age of Melvin. So therefore, the age, the present age of Melvin is 40 years old. Okay, so I hope eto po na equation or eto po na solution is klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko. Again, if medyo magulo ulit, huwag mahiyang mag-message po sa akin sa Facebook or sa Messenger. Okay, so uh, tutulong po ako para mas malalo po nating maintindihan ang problem na ito. So huwag mahiya. So para naman by next ano, meron ako may bigay na tips na naman. Okay? So sa previous problem ko po, sinolve ko siya without using any equation, without using any variable. Now here, sinolve ko naman siya gamit ang equation po naman. Okay? So the correct answer here is Ano yung correct answer sa problem na to? Base sa solution natin, the correct answer here is letter B that is 40 years old. That is the present age of Melvin. Problem number 2, and this is our problem number 2, and this is the law of exponent. Remember, one of the property ng law of exponent is eto po siya. Okay? So, sa law of exponent po class, pag ganito yung forma natin, okay? Pag ganyan yung forma natin, we will just multiply this. Kaya we have m times n. Okay? So, therefore, we try natin po ito solve. So, pag solve po natin yan, ayan na po siya. Itong 2 times 3, ayan, Multiply po natin yung 2 times 3, kaya magiging x raised to 6. Kasi 2 times 3 is 6. Then 6 times 4, base dito, therefore, that is x raised to 24. So the correct answer here is letter B. Now, problem number 3, if Melvin is 10% taller than chicks, is 10% taller than cloud, then Melvin is taller than cloud by blank. Is it letter A, 20%, letter B, 21%, letter C, 22%, letter D, 22.5%. Ulitin ko po, if Melvin is 10% taller than chicks, is 10% taller than cloud, then Melvin is taller than cloud by, is it letter A, 20%, letter B, 21%, letter C, 22%, letter D, 22.5%. Okay? So, let's say, ito yung age ni Melvin. Yung age ni Melvin is X, age ni Chicks is Y, age ni Cloud is Z. And by the statement na if Melvin is 10% taller than Chicks, so therefore, X equals to 1.1 Y. Diba? Ito yung age ni, ni Chicks. So, therefore, 10% taller sa original uh, height ni Chicks, kaya 1.1 10. Ito po yung nag-represent ng, ng, ng 10%. Yan po yan. Yan yung nag-represent ng 10% natin. Okay? 10% taller. So, next, sabi niya man dito, si Chicks naman daw is 10% taller than Cloud. Since ito yung age ni Chicks, so therefore 10% taller than Cloud, so that is 1.1 Z. Okay? Yan po yung mag-represent ng 10% taller than Cloud. Kaya ang tanong, Melvin is blank uh, taller than cloud. So therefore, that is x, ito po yung age ni Melvin, then 1.1 from the first equation, y. So y, ito po yung y na yun class. Ito siya, this is the, the y. Okay, yan po. Ito siya yung y. I hope, klaro po. So from here, kung pasin yung second equation, y equals 1.1z, ayan na po siya, 1.10z or Kasi pagbasa nito class, 1.1 or 1.10. Parehas lang naman, di ba? 1.1 or 1.10. So therefore, from the first equation, x equals to 1.1 or 1.10y, this is Melvin is 10% taller than chicks. Ito yung mag-represent ng 10% taller. So we have x equals to 1.10y. So second equation, y or chicks is 10% taller than cloud. So therefore, y equals to 1.10 Z. From the first equation, that is 1.10y, itong y, pwede tayo mag-substitute ng 1.10z. Kaya ito na yung nangyari. So, x equals to 1.10y as the first equation in which y also equals to 1.10z. 
So, i-multiply po natin itong 1.10 times 1.10. Ang result po niyan is 1.21. So, therefore, ang question ng Melvin is taller than cloud by what is? Anong sagot? Kung titignan natin, ano po ito siya? So, yan po yung increase. Melvin is 21% taller than cloud. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter B. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko. Pero again, if hindi po, you can message me naman po sa messenger. Okay, so this is problem number 4. If A is greater than B, then A over C is blank B over C for C is less than 0. So pag sinabing C is less than 0, therefore the value of C is negative. Okay. Now, before we proceed, class, sandaan lang na mas madali po itong mag-solve if mag-assume tayo ng value na mag-satisfy naman sa condition sa problem. So, therefore, the first step na gawin po natin, class, is mag-assume tayo ng values for A, B, and C. But always take note of the condition bago tayo mag-assign ng value. A is greater than B. So, dapat sa pag-assign natin ng value or assume natin ng value, Dapat talaga si A is greater than B. From here, yung assume ko na value ng A is 4 and value ko na B is 2. Which is to check that if A is greater than B, correct naman. Because sa number line naman is 4, mas malaki naman talaga si 4 compared to 2. The next condition is C less than 0. So therefore, if that is C less than 0, therefore the value of C is negative. And yung in ko ng value for dito is C equals to negative 2. Now, next natin is, itry natin yung A over C or A divided by C. So, that is 4 divided by negative 2. So, 4 divided by 2, negative 2, the result is negative 2. So, therefore, yung value ng A over C ko is negative 2. Ganon din sa B over C. That is 2 divided by negative 2. Kasi B over C naman yung nandito. So, 2 over negative 2, that is negative 1. Now, alin yung mas malaki? Negative 2 or negative 1? Kung pagbabasihan natin sa number line, mas malaki po si negative 1. Okay? Mas malaki po si negative 1. So, therefore, A over C is less than B over C kasi nga, negative 2 is less than negative 1. So, therefore, the correct answer here is letter A. That is, less than. Okay? I hope... Klaro po yung pagkaka-explain. Again, uh, kung hindi naman, message lang po kaagad. So, the technique here, if maka-encounter maka kayo ulit na problem na ganito, actually, tinitest lang yung ano ninyo. Parang logic, okay? Tinitest lang. So, mag-assume talaga kayo ng value na nag-satisfy sa condition. And then, titignan ninyo, uh, based sa values na ginamit ninyo, if nag-satisfy ba sa condition sa problem. So, by that, makikita natin kaagad yung, yung uh, sagot sa problem. Okay? So, yun po siya for problem number 4. Okay, thank you for watching. Sa mga iba na, again, yung sinasabi ko before, if medyo magulo, pwede nyo akong hanapin sa Facebook. And I'm willing to help naman po. Pero kung gusto nyo pong matutukan po talaga sa mathematics, uh, lalo na yung mga nahihirapan sa mathematics, any, any exam, hindi lang po sa civil service, kahit sa anong entrance exam ba, or college entrance exam, basta nahihirapan kayo sa math, pwede naman po kayong magpa-personal uh, coaching po sa akin. So you can message me naman po sa, sa messenger. Again, don't forget to click uh, subscribe. And bakit po tayo mag-click na subscribe? Para every time na na may bagong videos, ma-notify po kayo ni YouTube na may bagong videos po akong in-upload. And then do not also forget to share to others para naman po makatulong naman po tayo. Again, so I hope you learn something from this uh, part of my lecture. And our next topic is Mathematics Frequently Asked Question Part Number 15. Again, and uh, see you on next, um, uh, see you or sa aking next uh, lecture, part 15 of Civil Service Re Review. And have a nice day.